rest of the story. As you can tell, somebody's happy being out of the shed. Uh, she is one of the first two that I had. Uh, apologize for adjusting the camera zoom. She's happy. The cows broke out of my shed. Two of them did. And all the calves were still in there. Will you not, like, goober up all my stuff? Thank you. Too late. Oh, man. Yum. Uh, I'm going to go and grab the skid steer. We had that rain, snow mix of, of wintery fun. Springtime fun. Uh, I'm going to scrape up basically everything that's wet out through here and throw in some more bedding. Uh, right now, a $40, $45 fodder bale is pretty cheap when you're looking at $1,600 calves that are running around out here. And, oh, here we go. She's one of the, the pleasant ones that got out. Looks like she's happy to find her calf. A uh, little bull. We're currently sitting at four heifers, uh, two steers. I say steers because they've been banded and they're done. Older cow had a pretty, pretty solid looking little bull calf. Again, I think they've been out for a while. This isn't exactly, holy, hi. Um, this isn't exactly ideal. I know they could jump out of here because, well, they've, they've, they were flirting with the idea of it. And pretty sure the dog may have been out here and a dog around new moms just, it's, it's kind of dangerous, especially if you're out here with them. The dog runs between your legs and the cow really doesn't discriminate. But I'm reusing, I don't know if this is just the cheap side of me coming out, but I'm reusing tags. Um, I got... 22 tags from years past that I'm using up. That's why we're back at 12, 15, and a lot of these guys are, or the older cows are tagged anywhere from 25 to, to 70. I mean, she's 63, and this is the heifer. This is my first calf right here. Um, she got stepped on or something. Um, her back leg was sore you can see she's still favoring it just a little bit but i think she'll be fine um hips don't look like they're messed up i'll be honest with you her right hip does almost look like it's swollen a little bit and see you now there she's fine maybe it's just because she's she's favoring it I'm um, going to come through, clean all this out, and as backwards as it sounds, uh, I'm going to get this scraped out down to concrete. I'm going to put a gate across it. The reason I'm going to put a gate across it is I have more cows than I have room for calves and cows in general. And the last thing I want is for the weather to change and have all of them try to crowd in here and stomp my baby calves into the ground and cause, you know, irreparable damage. So... I'd say he's the nicest bull I got. Um, the other bull calf is probably the smallest one I have. But now that I'm going to just let the calves out and fend for themselves, I'm going to scrape this up because it's just mucky out here. And by locking everybody out of here, I have this clean for when I have more heifers calving because... I have, I've only had, what, three heifers calves so far, and right now it's not so much worried about the weather, a little bit, but I want to keep this clean and as an option for my first calf heifers that might have a brain malfunction and decide they don't know if they want to keep their calves. See, I want to see this, you know, with everybody, but some of them, it, they don't quite take to it as easy. Um, reusing my old white tags. I've had those for like five years and I'm just not really starting to get used to them. I don't like the big, tall, long tags. They're easy to, to see out in the pasture, uh, but they are a lot easier to get caught on also, like in the fence and on my feeder and all that. But um, she's one of my botten cows. You could say that Herschel and Myrna um, put towards them, um, put towards her. But yes, right here, perfect. Here's the baby. 
He's what I would call a suitcase calf. And then he is not. I mean, he's a very solid calf. Apart from his mom, uh, apart from his dad. I mean, we've had four different bulls out here with him. But I can definitely tell he was out of a calving ease bull. But isn't he just so cute? Yes, you are. And that's what I want to see. They're spry. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, all I'm giving them is a shot of selenium. I'm not really getting carried away with doing a bunch of stuff to the calves um, in a bare minimum state of mind. Um, but the selenium, much long line is with the selenium block that the cows have as free choice. Um, what that does is when they have it in their system, an appropriate amount, it helps with the thriftiness to the calves. And thriftiness is, well, like you saw that calf running around doing hot laps around here. Um, we're in a part of the country that's actually selenium deficient as far as, you know, it being available in the soil and, and the plants or anything else like that. So that's why we are on the path of supplementing it. But really good comparison of calves right there. I don't know. I'm happy. I wish the weather was a little bit nicer out, but so far, other than my first calf giving me issues... Uh, we, we're, we're doing all right. I'm tempted to let them back out in the pasture, even though it's soft out there, because I don't want the cows tearing the pasture up, but to get them out of the barnyard. But we were calling for all that snow and stuff we got here in the last couple of days, so that's, that's a big reason why I wanted them in here, because I didn't want them calving out on grass. But I'm also checking them three times a day, minimum. So I'm going to get the skid steer, scrape this up, throw some fodder in, once I'm comfortable that my those first four, three, she's one of the four, um, are going to get their calves, take care of them, which she is, obviously. Um, I'll let them back out in the pasture and let cows be cows. Good morning, everybody. I haven't done a voiceover in forever, so give me a little bit of chance here to get my microphone figured out. Uh, the cows are being cows. I scraped up everything here last night. Uh, we ended up getting rain pretty well all night. It's pretty damp out this morning when I left out. Uh, right or wrong, I let all the calves out in with the rest of the cows. And I think it's for the best at this point. Uh, I mean, they're the oldest ones are a few days old, going on a week. And they actually seem to like to have the, the room to run. Now, I don't think they're calling for any more rain. Probably going to go, go ahead and let them out in the pasture just to have that extra room to, to move around. I don't have a whole lot of storage available for putting some of this manure up. So a lot of this, it's mainly just waterlogged and piling it up here at the end of the barn. Uh, it actually dries out here. Again, they're calling for 50s by mid to late week. I'm hoping we can just go ahead and clean it up and get it gone. Here's the issue. Uh, we're going to go through and probably try to clean up a bunch of our lots again before we get into like field work, field work. Uh, we missed the window as far as doing much for like tillage or seeding anything down. Outside of, well, honestly, I got two, two field driveways that I have to seed down. Otherwise, we shouldn't need any new seeded alfalfa this year so we're sitting pretty heavy at least dad and my brother are um, we'll see what the stands do after this year see if anything needs to be tore up and reseeding something down um, i'd say right now the biggest issue i got my co my cows is they're lousy i mean it, you don't see it on camera but i see it and i've treated them twice and evidently not heavy enough or i just flat out messed up somehow because uh, they're scratching and they scratch the hair off on their their back ends and they did the same thing last year but it's more of a a curb appeal thing especially for me when I'm I'm looking at them every day so this shed here I really didn't plan on putting cattle in it but I went through probably a dozen straw bales just trying to keep everybody happy um, large reason being is the the heifers that calve first I wasn't convinced that the first two calves I had the heifers would have actually taken to them if I didn't lock them in with them at least for a little while and 
the problem with it being the end of March is you're, as far as hoping for decent weather or trying to hold out for decent weather, you're not guaranteed that it's going to improve. And they actually flip-flopped the weather forecast. Like when I filmed this video, it was actually supposed to be cold and, and dreary, and it was actually in the 50s and honestly not that bad out. It was spitting rain a little bit, but a little bit of showers really isn't going to hurt these calves. Uh, the two new ones I had, um, I guess I don't, I haven't shown them. I had two new heifers last night that they were trying to acclimate to being in the world, but their mamas were older cows. Um, albeit one, no one has actually charged me yet or snorted or bellered or nothing like where I was concerned about my safety. Um, you know, the, I think every every guy that has cattle can say that he has at least one spicy cow in his in his group and at least I know to watch out for her and I'm hoping that I know dang well just the way she looks at me she's gonna be she's almost gonna be destined for the trailer but we'll see well how this year pans out but I can't really I was hoping after the first calf to give her a chance to to settle down but she's always one of those that Whenever I'm in the lot, she's the first one that has her head up, and she always makes sure as I'm walking through the cattle that she'll always position herself at the back of the cows as far away from me as she can. She tries to blend in with everybody else. So that happens. Um, cattle prices are hot, adds to the stress. Um, like I said, uh, $1,600 a calf is what the current forecast is on the price of these guys. Um, they're saying that cattle demand really isn't gonna drop down here for a couple years. We've been lied to before, but I really hate to, to not do my best to keep everybody happy and healthy and then, you know, have good prices and no cattle to sell. Still sitting on pins and needles, I'm anxious, waiting to see what we all end up with. I didn't preg check anybody. Uh, I won't preg check until after my spring calving window, and I'll probably just pull blood on everybody that hasn't calved, and that'll give me an idea of who is hopefully going to be calving this fall, and if I got one or two cows in particular, I might just call out if they are open because I think they've just, they've done their time. Uh, I haven't shown you the new bull yet. Uh, we bought it, Dad and I went and bought a new bull the other day. Really like him had to pay for him, but um, compared to last year, uh, at least going through and looking through all the cattle and the, bro the bull brochure, you know which ones that you're willing to, to bid on, and he was definitely one that I, I was willing to take home. So stay tuned for more 